Hello my friends, it's me again, your favorite denture wearer. It's early in the morning again. Something's wrong with the uh, YouTube scheduler. I can't seem to get a video scheduled to come out the next day. Forgive my sniffling, if you will. That's why I usually make my videos in the afternoon is because my nose runs like a faucet, literally like a faucet in the mornings. So I prefer to make my videos in the afternoon when my nose isn't running so bad. I can blow it 50 times and it'll still just keep running like a faucet. Been that way my whole life. Just allergies. So, that's just the way it is. Got the little buggy off the cart, off the uh, trailer yesterday. And I rebuilt the carburetor on it because it got loaded up with dirt. We lost the air filter off of it and it got loaded up with dirt. And there's oil all over the engine. It was much worse before I sprayed it off. But we're still having an issue with it starting. I'll figure that out. I'm good at that kind of stuff. Not sure what the issue is yet, but I'll figure it out. It's getting spark. It's just not getting enough gas, I don't think. I think that carburetor might be shot just because of the fact that it got full of dirt. And even though I took it apart and cleaned it and all of that, I think it might have uh, damaged that carburetor worse than it should have. But those kind of things happen and we learn from our mistakes. We learn what we need to do the next time we go out there. We need to pay closer attention to the kids driving that thing around and we need to pay closer attention to it so that if something goes wrong we can catch it instantly but i'll tell you what that thing didn't sit in camp very long them kids were on that thing all day long and they had a blast all day saturday all day sunday right up until i was about ready to come home that's when it quit running so it was good timing I didn't have to go back out there Monday and get it, which is good timing. So, working on this little buggy is similar to uh, working with your dentures. You know, I mean, it's going to take me some time and some patience and some work. To get that thing going again and get it back to where it should be and when you get your dentures it's the same way it's going to take you some time some patience and some work to get back to where you should be it doesn't just happen instantly you're not just going to throw your dentures in your mouth and start eating steak and lobster and crab legs and stuff no it's going to take time but there's absolutely no reason why in time you shouldn't be able to eat all the things that you could eat before and more now for me in my personal experience I can eat so much more than I ever did with my rotten broken teeth now, I know a lot of people are getting their teeth pulled just because they're crooked they're out of shape and crooked and they could eat everything but they just wanted straight teeth. And, you know, yeah, you're gonna have a little more difficulty because you're used to eating, you know, things like nuts and steak and stuff like that. But for those of us, and it's gonna be a little more mentally trying on you because you're used to eating all that stuff and now you can't because your gums are sore and you're trying to get used to dentures and everything else. But for those of us that had rotten, broken teeth, and got dentures then you know it's a learning process for everybody no matter who gets dentures it's a learning process um, for those of you that have had you know that had fairly decent teeth they were just crooked or stained or you know maybe you had a few bad teeth but you had them all pulled anyway you could pretty much eat anything you could eat potato chips and things like that and so for you it's a little more mentally trying because you could eat all that stuff before 
and now you have to learn how to eat all that stuff again and get through that learning process and that learning curve for those of us that had rotten broken nasty you know just rotten teeth in our mouth and always had to eat soft food because we'd break a tooth or you know it'd get in a in a hole and it'd cause an abscess or something like that uh, we have a little more it, it for us it's more of a when we finally get our dentures and we start eating and we start off eating soft food and stuff like that but the first time we can eat a potato chip that we haven't eaten in you know years we haven't been able to eat in years because it hurt our teeth or stabbed our gums or whatever the case may be it's like you know for me personally i couldn't eat potato chips or anything for over 20 years i couldn't eat nuts i couldn't eat potato chips i couldn't eat apples i couldn't eat corn on a cob uh, I couldn't have lettuce, pickles, and tomatoes on my hamburger because I couldn't bite through them. I was basically gumming my food with broken, nasty little nubs in my gums. So I couldn't really bite through anything. I still had a couple of good chewers back here so I could chew stuff up, but I couldn't bite through anything. And my chewers kept my gums from coming together, so I couldn't bite through anything. So for me with the uh with the whole being able to eat that first potato chip was just mind-blowing and like i said before i could eat pringles with my rotten teeth because i could smash them on the roof of my mouth with my tongue um you know and then i could put them over to my chewers and chew it up a little bit but you know you can't just go and bite through them with rotten, broken, nasty teeth. I could never eat any harder chips than that. So the first time I got a Ruffles or a Lay's, you know, and I ate those, or some chili cheese Fritos, ho, 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 ho love them. <laughs> you know, stuff like that. Or the first time I could eat hard Cheetos instead of the big puffy ones, uh, Funyuns, things like that. I tended to go a little overboard on eating stuff that I haven't been able to eat in 20 years. So, got to be careful with that. But, like I said, um, I've still got to figure out what's wrong with the buggy, why it's not running properly. Something wrong with it. I can get it to start, barely. Um, it's going to take some work. But, I'll get it figured out. Now, I have to make this video on Friday morning because, again, YouTube's scheduler didn't schedule my video for today, and it's just gone. Now, I don't understand what's going on with that because what I do once I upload a video and I have it scheduled to come out, say, on Friday at 9 a.m., I delete it off the computer because... I don't have a lot of storage on my computer. I don't have room to store 20,000 videos on my computer. So I delete it off the computer. It's already on YouTube. I don't need to save it. And here the past few days, every time I go to look in the morning to see if my video's there, it's just gone. Nothing scheduled. No video. I don't know what's going on. <coughs> I have sent a letter to YouTube and I'm expecting a response and I'm sure they'll respond. They're very good at responding. It may take a week, but they're very good at responding. And, you know, with a billion people using YouTube, I'm sure they, it takes them a minute to respond to everybody's emails and stuff when there's a problem. So that's the way life is. So don't forget my friends, always keep smiling, keep trying. And whatever you do, never give up. First cup of coffee of the morning.